have you guys realized in like movies in you know shows that we watch or even just in general real life examples the person that becomes great that becomes a champion that becomes just the greatest of the great has to go through a great deal of trial has to go through unimaginable tests and trials and hardship nobody that becomes great had it easy you know hard times create strong men and we see this even with our own prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam our beloved prophet prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the best creation the best of men the best example for mankind and even he's had to go through tests losing loved ones the death of loved ones his own people his own tribe going against him trying to kill him and we even see this with other prophets prophet yunus alayhi salam swallowed by the, the whale prophet ibrahim alayhi salam you know thrown into the fire and you know it's just all of these are examples for us to learn from and to just remember when we are going through our own trials and hardship obviously the prophets are the best of examples for me to give but a boxer is trying to become a champion a fighter that's trying to become a champion people that are trying to become great they have to go through it they have to it's it's like a law in order for you to become great in order for you to achieve great things and do great things you need to go through it my boy that's beautiful though don't you think because it's like the tests and trials that you go through are only going to make you stronger life isn't meant to get easier but you just become hardened, you just become stronger, you're just able to deal with what life throws at you. And also you should find solace, you should find happiness in knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests those that he loves. So if you're going through something, just know that one, Allah loves you. And two, with hardship comes ease, so at the end of this it's going to be some sort of ease, some sort of bliss, some sort of um, happiness for you at the end of it, inshallah ta'ala. And three, you should come out stronger you should come out better you should come out more equipped and more able to deal with life's hardships and just again for next time when you are going through your hardship because unfortunately it is inevitable that you will be tested with something we are believers believers get tested just remember that even our prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had to go through it not to even downplay your hardship but what you're going through right now probably isn't as hard as what the prophet went through but the prophet was patient the prophet still maintained trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the prophet was still praying his salah the prophet was still giving people their rights despite the fact that he was going through what he was going through so if the prophet can do that was going through unimaginable pain you can do it bro you can do it bro you just need to keep going and stay patient and stay resilient you need resilience that's what you need bro so I hope that was a quick beneficial reminder. We're going to go to the gym. We're going to lift some weight. Let's get it done. Bismillah. Yes, guys. So we have a quick chest and back workout today. As per the Arnold split that I've been running for a while now. And I must say, I've been enjoying these sessions so far. We're doing the chest section of the workout first. And we do cable chest flies to begin with to pre-exhaust the chest for the coming exercises. Getting blood flow into the pecs and having them ready for what's to come. I usually do this for four sets of 10 to 12 reps, going heavier with each set. Then we did bench press and I always start off with an empty bar just to kind of prime my body, warm up the joints and front delt a little and get myself ready mentally for the bench press. Did that for AMRAP. Then we added on two plates making it 60 kg in total and did that for AMRAP also at this point we're still warming up. Then we did 100 kg again for another AMRAP set. I had to speed up a little since mashallah, I'm doing quite a few reps in it. Side note, I'm not really a fan of bench press these days and I've been enjoying progressing on the dumbbell press much more. Some studies show that dumbbell press is actually much better for hypertrophy than the bench press just due to the added range of motion but it's all down to preference. Nonetheless, we went on to do 120 kg again for AMRAP. I didn't have much of a plan for bench press this time, but I just wanted to see how I'd perform and going forward, i will be working on the dumbbell press only with the aim being pressing 70 kg for a few reps, inshallah. For the final chest exercise, we have the machine incline chest press, a good alternative for any incline exercise, whether it be incline dumbbell press or incline barbell bench or even incline smith machine press. I found that this machine allows me to have better stability and control with the weight and it's a little easier on the joints to the rotator cuff. 
if your gym is more of a commercial gym then it may not have this machine as i've only found them to be more old school bodybuilding type gyms however you can get by on other incline exercises so long as you're given the upper chest its dues you find that a lot of people do neglect their upper chest and they are lacking in the upper chest so make sure you're giving it its dues for sure we did this for three sets of 10 to 12 reps really controlling the weight and not letting gravity take control now we're moving on to the back section of the workout and we only did two exercises here as this was just a quick session of program first we have my favorite back exercise so far to grow them wings and build back width and that is the unilateral seated row training each lat individually which allows us to take care of any imbalances and for the final exercise of this workout we have the lats pull down which is the absolute goat of back exercises now i haven't used the normal lat pull down bar in years as i've been using either the d handle attachment or this attachment that you see in the video i think they're called gorilla grips i found that i get much better activation when i use either of these attachments and much better pumps and burn so if you're someone that always uses the normal lat pull down attachment try switch it up try use the d handle attachment i'm sure you'll get a nice burn and pump we did this for three sets of eight to ten reps taking this close to failure and trying not to let form die too much and there you have it chest and back done more workouts on the way more valuable videos on the way so make sure to like comment subscribe for more content and i'll see you on the next one assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh